Alright, hello, what is up everybody, this is The Wonders here, and I am going to show you how you can take apart your gun and put it back together, um, and if you need to find anything that is in there, how to take it out. So, I have two guns and my models, which probably your models are as well, is a Walther. P99 BB gun pistol. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, so yeah, first thing you want to do is you want to cock back your your gun. Um, you want to make sure it stays in place. Now, if your gun does not stay in place, it's because of this thing right here. Make sure to cock it back all the way and try and push this thing up into that hole right there see if you can see that oh god into that hole right there so cock it back all the way and push this thing up alright now after you've done that what you want to do is this this right here you want you want to pull it down don't worry, it's not gonna break. It's gotta, it's gotta slide, in which it goes into. So it's not gonna break or anything. Next thing you wanna do is carefully put it back and uh, see this thing right here. Don't pull it yet. Don't pull it at all once you're doing this. Um, this thing it it take it removes the top portion this it holds it together it is what it what does hold it together so uh, once you are pu pulling this down make sure to hold this firm because if you don't all the top can go flying so okay I've had that happen to me pretty couple of times and it kind of sucks try trying to find the parts see there we go now now it has popped off and then you just slide it off okay so right there that's what you pull once you it's right there you pull both sides of it both sides and uh, once you do make sure to hold the top or else it'll probably go flying if it doesn't if it doesn't automatically do it, let me show you why it doesn't automatically do it. So see here, I've got my P99, It this thing right here, it's pulled down on both sides. Make sure it's pulled down on both sides before you check this part. It's pulled down on both sides. Now what you want to do is you want to hold the top. Please, when you're, once you're doing this, hold the top or else it'll come, go flying. So, hold the top and then just pull the trigger. And it'll come right off. So, there you go. Alright, now once you have pull successfully pulled it off, um, literally. Uh, you can now see the mechanism the mechanism inside so you have this right here which is pushing the barrel itself back holding it in place you want to take that off and make sure to have the spring on it as well um, this, you really don't need to take the springs off or anything um, this right here we'll be calling this part the tail that part the tail in the future and then the barrel itself now you don't want to take this puppy apart because uh, you will break it and it's, it's a bitch to put back together but once you do, if you did break it, don't super glue or anything. Just put it back together because it, that that wouldn't. I don't think that'll go well. 
So you see, if if your spring didn't stay on right here, that's that's good. It it was in here, of course. So the only way to take it off is try and don't. Well, you don't have to take this this thing off of it, but uh, you can if you want. So what you do is just twist and uh, just keep twisting. Don't forcefully pull it or else you might uh, pull, do something to the spring, which uh, you don't want happening. You don't want to have to buy another spring. So if this thing did come off, all you have to do is put it back right on there. And uh, you're gonna, you might have to force it, but it does go on like that. Okay. Now here's the skinny small spring, and uh, here is the fat spring. There's two different springs. Um, you might have some other kind of mechanism on mine because mine have been broken before, and uh, on this gun. I have the small skinny spring on this one and the fat spring on this one. Um, the reason for that being is is because I have this. Let's see if you can. I have this on the end of it. That is why I have to switch them. I don't know why these, uh, why that part is missing on my other pistol it just is so I had to make do with what I had and uh, if you are missing that part as well you're probably gonna have to switch them like I did so or if you don't want to uh, sub to it's your choice um, but if it's not working that's probably the source of it now if um, here I mean, we still haven't taken the clip out doesn't matter if you take the clip out or not. Um, if you don't know how to take the clip out um, and you didn't read the manual, it is this little lever right there. You just pull that down and it comes out. It's on either side too. So you don't have to pull them once at the same time. Just pull one and it, it'll come out. So, um,. Yeah, if you if you find if you hear any rattling or anything, uh, it's probably a BB stuck in there. Once you've taken it all apart, you it'll probably be, probably be easier to take out, or it will have already fallen out. So um, yeah, there's that. All right, so I think I've said everything else I needed to say about this gun. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, put it back together, shall we? So, what you want to do is you want to put this right inside the barrel and make sure it's pushed all the way back right there. Um, if you're having some difficulties pushing it all the way back, make sure that this right here, this is not coming off of the actual barrel. Uh, if it is, try to push it, force it all the way in. Don't worry, it won't break it. It's just that it's dislocated. And uh, that's the problem you're going to have after a while. So yeah, make sure it's like that. Pull flush and everything. Yeah, inside the hole. Inside the hole. Yep. Okay. Now, ne okay. next what you want to do is you want to put that tail end inside of the barrel make sure they're pushed well, they're not going to go all the way in there's going to be a gap right there but uh, make sure they're sitting nice and pretty in the city so you can you can put this uh, spring in now whatever spring you have the small spring or the big spring for this part right now I have a small spring so there you have it now what you want to do with oh uh, now what you want to do with this right here is you want 
to uh, let me see if I can get a good shot if I can actually do this you want to put it inside that hole and then you want to push it into the hole I know I'm blocking your view right now I'm trying to do this to where you guys can actually see but uh, it's proving to be difficult <laughs> um, alright I'm gonna have to do this hold on alright so what I just did there is I pushed it into the hole I let it rest right on top of there on to the second bottom lip right there so after you've gotten that all done and dandy putting it on may become difficult it may lock up at times um, you're just gonna have to try and wiggle your way in there um, no. Oh, you're gonna have to have these things right there. This, which which you pulled it off with. You're gonna have to have to push them back down, or else it won't go in. Um, and also this. Oh crap! This right here. If you're doing it upside down like I am, you're gonna have to push it up when the time comes, or just keep pushing it up all the way. So. You want to slide it in. There's, there's a slide on both sides. You don't just want to push it on. You're going to have to slide it in from the get-go. So just keep sliding it. And it uh, seems I am having some difficulties here. Just going to have to keep wiggling it. Try to push some stuff down. I don't know exactly what this happens. But, uh, let's see. Something keeps getting caught. And, uh, just keep wiggling. And if it comes off, just, uh, just keep trying. If I, if, if this becomes too long of a segment, I'll probably just fast forward it. I don't know. Oh, never mind. There we go. See, so just keep wiggling it, and it'll, it'll come on. Uh,. Now see that, that right there, that's a problem. That's a big problem you do not want to have to face. Um, I just... Okay, hold on. See, I don't know why that actually happens. But uh, if that does ever happen, uh, just uh, take it off, mess with it a bit, and then... It should be fine. I don't know how to actually fix that correctly, but once you have it right here, all you want to do is push this back down, let it go, and it's fine. And now you have successfully almost put it all the way back together. Having fun yet? <laughs> or fucking up yet? <laughs> so what you want to do now is cock it all the way back. See, mine won't stay. Ah, there we go. Oof. My won't, st my wouldn't stay, so I have to pull it all the way back and then push this up at the same time, which can be proven to be difficult. So next thing you want to do is you want to push this back in. Now I want you to force it um, because you're gonna have to get it into the slide itself, but that's that's not as difficult as what you're gonna have to do um, I'm not I'm not even getting it into the slide there we go alright see you've gotten into the slide now but it won't won't stay it won't lock and the reason for that being is there is these little hinges on the bottom and these hinges attach to this barrel right there you're gonna have to get it to lock onto there uh, what I do is I usually put pull the uh, let go of this and then pull it let go of the uh, 
the actual thing you're trying to put on and then pull the, uh, the thing it's trying to get hinged onto that thing and then once I let it go and then it goes back I push it back in and it usually all sometimes comes in uh, you'll probably have to find ways of doing that yourself but uh, that's that's that yeah you then you put it back put the mag back in and uh, you're ready to shoot my sir I'm not gonna actually shoot it because I'm in my house and uh well it's not loaded at all but uh, I don't just I just don't feel like it um, I'm gonna put the safety on and uh, yeah now there's a uh, there's only one other thing I really know about this gun and how to make it lighter um, now how you make it lighter is let me see, where's uh, something? There we go. Now, um, you can find a pencil, you can find anything you need to. Um, sorry. You can find anything you need to. And, uh, uh, crap. There we go. See this right there? Well, you want to apply force on one side and just push it all the way through and it will come on the other side now don't don't think dirty right now but yes you want to pull it uh, if you can if you didn't push it all the way through then just try and keep pushing with uh, something else if you need to. There we go. Now I'm at the point where I can pull it. If I can, <laughs> it's proving to be difficult. I don't know why. Alright, well, if it doesn't go that way, I don't know why it wasn't. I think there's something on here that prohibits me from doing that. Oh, well, now it just fell out. So yeah, there you go. And what that'll do is that will take this off, take that off from the actual gun, and you can find a weight in there. Now, if you really do want to make it lighter, all you have to do is tap it out, and then put it back on, and it'll be efficiently lighter. Not not like really really lighter, but it it will it, you can tell the difference. Okay. Um, oh crap! If you have like two guns to compare it to, you can you can really tell the difference. Um, so yeah, after that, you want to make sure you don't want to lose this, and uh, just push it back on, and it is good as new. And. Uh, yeah, that's about all I know about this gun. Probably still gonna try and find out more, get another gun and mess with it. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. If uh, you have any questions, concerns, comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Send me messages, PMs, whatever you need to. Um, and, yeah, um, I am on season 5 of Supernatural. That shit is fucking awesome. Um, I barely started season five, and I haven't seen the first episode yet. I need to keep watching. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on whatever video I decide to upload. Uh, yeah, later, guys.